is Chateau Le Maire. My name is MC Jamie J, and along with cast and crew, we are BWD Entertainment. Any questions, any song requests, anything you want to hear, please let us know. In the meantime, it is my promise that I have something for each and every person in this room tonight. All right, at this time, without further ado, we just how much liveliness, how much love we have in this crowd. So DJ, give me something I can get excited to. This celebration up. I know you had a great Zoki yesterday, but this is going to be twice as good. And to do that, I want to know what kind of crowd we have out here tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, if you're ready to party, let me make some noise. That was a great start, amazing start. But you know what? Pride side. Let's see who's better. Pride side. Make some noise. I really want to feel the love, so guys, let me hear you make some noise! All right, in that case, without any further ado, I would ask that you direct your attention toward our side doors that we have some very, very special people to introduce. First up, they are the parents of our groom. Please, everyone, put your hands together. Give a warm welcome for Dwarka and Srinivy!
up at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would ask you to please find the nearest video screen and please your direct attention for the short video.
folks. At this time in our program, we have a very, very special treat. A very good friend of our groom, Mummer, is going to say a few words and do a very special blessing for the bride and groom. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a tremendous round of applause out of here for Josh. How you love them 
and how they learn to love each other by witnessing the love between you and your spouse. We all thank you for raising these two people the way they are, and we are so excited to see their love blossom and grow. I'm so happy and honored to be part of the celebration that unites these two incredible people in marriage. And now we'll exchange the vows. <laughs> Do you, Priyanka Tadapali, take this man, Amarnath Kolhoff, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and woe, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I think that was a yes. <laughs> Do you, Amarnath Bolhai, take this woman, Priyanka, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and in woe, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live? Yo, for sure. <laughs> now exchange rings at this time. Josh, doing a great job for us. And I need the dads of the bride and groom to please come on up. They are going to sign a document, so we need Dwarka and Kumar to please come on up.
At this time, I'd ask that our bride and groom please take their seat on the stage. And we're going to continue with our program, ladies and gentlemen, with some speeches by the parents of our bride and groom. First up is the groom's parents. Please make some loud noise for Dwarka and Sri Devi. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters, and all the gentlemen and ladies. We are here to celebrate my son, Manas Ray. And we have been waiting for this quite a while. <laughs> but happy it happened. And it has been going on for more than a year. And we cherish it and we love it. Yes. And Namanath is my son from my family. He is the first child in this country after the family migrated here. So we had a very enthusiastic celebration when he was born. And so it's happening with his wedding also. <laughs> Now he teaches me how to do anything. 
I love you. Thank you. All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, another two minute round close out here. With the one more. Thank you, Davey. Thank you very much. Okay, the parents of our bride, please come on up. Please welcome them up here. Come on, and renew. Thank you, friends, joining us in this uh, celebration of uh, Priyanka Amar's wedding. Congratulations. <laughs> we got Easter. Uh, I don't want to give a long speech because uh, I might get emotional and overcompensate for it. Uh, uh, one thing I want to say following what uh, Jack said, Edel Pier and Amit said. Uh, both of them are weird for each other. Uh, both are kind, both are... Uh, uh, they, they don't take things easily. I keep saying, Priyanka, you are a change agent. Wherever she went, starting with her school, first job, second job, third job, she always makes Noise and, uh, and in a positive way, uh, and uh, creates positive change in all those places. Uh, so uh, both of them are great for each other, and uh, I pray uh, they have a long, lovely uh, which will be a role model for. Most of the younger generations. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is, uh, you would have seen over the last few days uh, the way we organize the whole thing. It's kind of a fusion of tradition and some fun and all that. And the main reason is them. They were. They always wanted a traditional wedding, and they also wanted some fun elements incorporated in it and we hope with uh, our family's cooperation and uh, we now consider actually we are all one family we had a great fun thank you sir right from the beginning of this project. it was not like uh, we have two families right from the beginning we have been working together uh, for last one year, like Varka has said, and uh, without their cooperation, we being in Atlanta, this kind of a celebration wouldn't have been possible. Uh, this venue is recommendation from them. The Sangeet and wedding venue that you saw is the venue where Lavanya, their daughter, had her reception, right? Uh, so. So during this one year, we actually became very close and we became like a family. And uh, going back to what I was saying, uh, I still call them kids. <laughs> so the kids wanted a traditional wedding with fun and uh, uh, self festivities incorporated in it. And we were able to do that with their cooperation and with a lot of hard work from them. And, uh, uh, Amar and uh, Priyanka were very diligent. They actually, we were helping them, so to say, to organize this. It's not we organizing it, they organized it and we helped them out. Most of these elements are coming from them. Great job. Everyone loved it. So, keep doing this. Uh, keep doing this throughout your life. Design it well. Bring your kids well. And then, why I said, everyone the younger generation will have uh, them as a role model is because it is important for us to keep our traditions intact even though we are growing in this modern society. Uh, I think they have all the elements to make it happen and I, I hope and I pray and I wish uh, everyone will 
take that as a role model and then uh, we follow through. Thank you for making this happen. Okay, this is your round applause out here once again for Kumar and Renu. Like, um, like Kumar said, I don't, um, I'll become emotional, you know, whatever said and done. Um, she's my darling. She's getting married and she's married. <laughs> I was just wondering, what do I do from tomorrow on? For the last six months, all I have been doing is being on my phone, you know, trying to come up with ideas, okay, what is she going to wear, what is he going to wear, how is it going to look like? And then suddenly it's a void, which um, it's going to be difficult to fill. Um, but I'm happy. Happy for both of you. You both have found each other. You are made for each other. There is no doubt about it. And thank you, Sri Garu and Bharka Garu, for our work. <laughs> and Priya? Yes. Thank you. And thank you for Navanya and Krishna Garu. They are, uh, you know, the Lamya is the elder sister of Amman. And uh, Priyanka has found an older sister. She always wanted. And by the way, I found a dance master, dance teacher, Krishna Garu. Uh, there are so many faces I hear, I see that um, we are parents, but there are there are so many people here who have contributed so much to Priyanka's life, to who she is. Each and every one, when I look through the tables going over here, right from the dance teacher, right from Sharma right from all other Vendel family, each one of them, right from our friends, each one of you guys have, you know, you have contributed a little bit in what she is today. So we all are very proud of her. We all know she is an amazing, amazing person. I always tell Anna, um, I'm not the only mother. You have multiple mothers in love with you today. <laughs> and you have also multiple mothers to love you too. <laughs> the best thing of all of this is she found a Telugu guy. <laughs> I've done a lot of weddings. 
And I'm not kidding, that is really gorgeous. Alright, so first guys, you wanna make a cut in that cake? A nice big cut somewhere? Make some noise, guys! Alright. Now you wanna move up right. Did you get a piece or I think a little lady maybe Taylor's gonna get a piece for you? Yeah, she'll do that. You guys don't have to do anything like that on this day. Alright, now there is a tradition for the bride and groom to feed each other at this point in the cake cutting ceremony. Now first we give that honor to the bride. So first, what I want you to do, Crown, is get a nice big piece of cake on there. Now, when feeding her brand new husband, should Priyanka be nice? Make some noise if you think she should be nice. Alright, who says she should not be nice? Wow, the bride side really wants her not to be nice. So we'll see. Alright, Priyanka, it's up to you. Of course, she was nice and sweet and beautiful as she is. Very, very good. But now, Albert, it's your chance to take a big piece of that cake and feed your lovely bride. Now, I'm going to ask you the same questions, folks. When feeding his brand new wife, should Albert be nice? Who says he should not be nice? Oh, that group size pretty strong on that, but don't worry if you know what's good for you. How about it, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very beautiful exchange. Excellent. So we, we're going to take another picture. Can we get a kiss? Is that all right? No kiss? All right, all right. Just check it. You got to check. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a nice round of applause once again out here. Put our Mark Priyanka on that cake cutting ceremony. All right, coming up in our program, a very, very special, special moment. I'm going to ask you to take your bride's hand. And ladies and gentlemen, this is on their wedding day, Amar and Priyanka's first official dance together as husband and wife. Thank you. 
were new to me, then I got used to the culture and stuff. But it's good, we didn't do any bad things, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you that, but I'm saying he's, he's a great guy. So the other thing I wanted to uh, mention was, um, his vibration matches yours, that I can sense it. <laughs> so the, other, the, the, the reason I'm saying it is, he's very good with females in his family. So <laughs>
he is born and brought up here, I was so scared to meet him, but when I met his, <laughs> when, when I met his family, like Priyanka came and I was with her, I felt it so comfortable and as if I'm talking to my sister. So this marriage, I really felt it's like my sister wedding and I'm so excited and happy for you guys. Congratulations. And uh, I'll be there for Christmas 2022. And 
I want to take you both on the shopping spree. You know, the baby sort of us, toy sort of us. So looking forward for that. Enjoy both. You both make a good couple. Uh, we'll see you soon. Good luck.
them is like family to us. In a lot of ways, she was my sister. I've known her probably all of my life. And when we were kids, we used to play games with Shashank a lot, which always, almost always led to us arguing. So we knew that Shashank was only scared of one thing, and that was Priyanka. <laughs> so now that we're grown up, it's time to return the favor. Amar, Priyanka, if you ever need it. You got two more brothers. We wish you guys the best, and a lifetime of happiness. Okay, guys, moving to our maid of honor and our best man speech. How about a tremendous round of applause for our lovely maid of honor, Natasha? Um, 
Frank and I were living in Harlem at the time and the pandemic had just started. And I was on my way to our apartment and I had lost my phone in the Uber. And Amr was there. When I got to the apartment, I'm like, hi, Amr. Frank, I lost my phone in the Uber. What do we do, blah, blah, blah. And Amr runs outside of the apartment with me, starts looking around, two blocks around, outside in the spring in New York City, looking for a fucking freaking phone. <laughs> But I, I've been I've been listening and I've been watching and you are that great. You are somehow you match her love. You match that suns and moons, how do you love somebody like that? The more I get to know you, the more you feel like my brother. The more I get to know you, the more I am excited to say welcome to the family. I feel it and I'm so happy. And one wish that I've had for like 10 years is I want Priyanka to see her potential. I want her to see how lovely she is, how amazing she is, and know it from her core. And that was starting, it was starting the last few years, but after she met Amr, after she met Amr, that just blew up. And you know, like I have seen you grow the last year, and I have seen you grow into that woman like wildfire. It's been incredible, and I'm so happy that you're in her life, and I'm so happy that you're together, and I'm so excited to be family. right off the bat. Amr often says that he used to look up to me. Actually, physically speaking, <laughs> I, I used to be taller than this giant. <laughs> and that was back when he had no front teeth. You all know Amr when he looked um, without any teeth at all. Um, but Amr, you have no idea how much I've looked up to you all these years. I actually found it very difficult to come up with something to focus on in this speech. Because when I look back, there's just so much that fills the ears. One of the photographers this morning during a photo shoot prompted us to talk about, um, talk to each other and reminisce about good moments. Amr immediately said, whoa, whoa, there's so much. What should we talk about? We ended up talking about how we owe a lot to one of our friends who has done so much for us. Um, while we were roommates this past year. So much for us every month. The first month, the first day of every month. I'm talking about rent. I want to make an official record here, Amr. We are never paying Charles. <laughs> Amr and I are inextricable in that sense. He established a big part of my tapestry of life. How I think about people, family, challenges, work, purpose but also little things, like how to annoyingly burp louder than anyone in the room, or how to pick on your best friends endlessly. 
So, I decided I would focus the speech on one expressive and expansive quality of honor, which is generosity. It's a theme you've heard from everyone else in their speeches. And it's a thread that weaves through everything that he undertakes. Amr, you are a giving soul. I know you know this, but I don't think you yet appreciate how much that means to all of us. You give and you give and you give. And you never expect anything in return. <laughs> to your mom and dad have given them so much over the years. Um, all the stress. Every, every time you call them, every single time, you know how much you annoy them over the phone. But I actually know how much you looked after them during the pandemic times, leaving groceries at the back door every week just so they could see you from a distance. How much you care for your nieces and sister and Krishna. Lavanya, you have no idea how much he talks about Barsha and Anjali and how excited he gets when he's reflecting on their growth and paintings and creations. They mean the world to me. Um, and also how much you give to your friends, your contagious laughter, your free-flowing jokes, your killer finishes, and how on trips you make sure your friends aren't just a part of the itinerary, but they define your entire day. You give and you keep giving. To me, you've effectively given your life. <laughs> to share a personal story here with all of you, I had open brain surgery a couple of years ago and I woke up in the neurosurgery ICU. I was only expecting my sister, my mom, and my dad to be there. When I opened my eyes, I saw this vague figure, and that's my sister. But right next to it, I saw this tall, big, dark spot. We have a lot of doctors in the room. And so when you see a dark spot right after surgery, that's not good. Um, I thought, oh man, there's a complication. I'm going to have a blind spot in my visual field. I blinked a few times, and it's Umber. He was actually traveling. He, he was traveling from somewhere else um, to go to New York City, and he decided he'd drop by Chicago just to see you. So whether I'm, taking, whether I'm undergoing surgery or taking a big board exam, Amr has been the one person who's always held his hand out for me. When I see 12.14 on the clock, I think of Amr by default. That's his birthday, December 14th. I often call my sister my angel for all that she's done for me, but Amr, you are equally a guardian angel. There's no way I can repay you for all that you've done, and I accept that. I will forever be indebted to you. Priyanka, uh, Priyanka, I joke with you all the time how you're stealing Amr from me. <laughs> this is why. He's such a good soul. That's his nature. Selflessness. Selflessness literally defines it. But Priyanka, I want to let you know something. When you came around into Amr's life, something changed. He became humbled. And I think it's because for the first time in his life, he found someone who gave to him. Who cared for him in a way that he wasn't okay. capable. You outshone him. Like when you took care of him when he had COVID, that was, that was just something else. You guys had barely known each other. And there you were, risking your life, going out of the way, going to his parents back and forth just to take care of him, getting a new fridge and putting the microwave in his room, everything, all the details. He knew right then and there, he literally knew right then and there that you were the one. But we all knew it. He acted differently. We saw it in the WhatsApp threads. We saw it in the photos, the smiles when you guys were together. He didn't explicitly tell us this, but he knew from that time. He was happy because at the core, you guys are very similar. You two are giving souls. And the way you care for Amr, Priyanka, it's unique, it's special. And that's, what we, that's why we're here today. We're here to celebrate that. I know you were nervous at one point. Like remember when you are getting that watch for Amr? You felt like he was doing so much for you that you felt like you had to step up your game. You didn't have to. Because he loves you for the caring and generous person you are. And you're this gentle soul that loves him unconditionally. So God bless you here. You've entered his life and you've just erased his fears. I don't know how to explain it, but when you look at who he was before and who he is now, there's a nuanced difference. And that's because of you. You genuinely completely. All right. 
So while I'm used to be the one sitting in the passenger seat all the time in Amr's car, whether it's the good old Prius or the Audi or the Lexus ES or the IS or the BMW or the two iterations of Tesla and now this Ferrari, I, I haven't had a single car in my life. And while Priyanka entering Amr's life made my life get flipped turned upside down, and now I have to sit in the back seat, it's horrible. But I must say I'm glad it's you. When I see you guys chatting, laughing, holding hands, Amr burping and you saying ew, uh, the banter, the prattle, or the look on your face when he does something absurdly silly and you, and you look at me in disbelief like, am I really marrying this guy? It's, it's all special. Priyanka, I want to reassure you that you're now a part of a family that just loves unconditionally. Amr adopted me as his brother. His parents adopted me as their own son. I know I can go to them at any point, no matter what, they're there for. That's the kind of family you are now a part of. You'll be in one of nothing, and we all cannot be more excited to have you with us. So with that, I'd like to raise a toast to our newlyweds, to our bride and groom, to our husband and wife, to Amar and Priyanka, a toast to a love found, to a love everlasting. How about a once again for your best man? Now is it Kai or is it Chai? Is it Kai? I'm oh, sorry. Chai. Chai. Because I'm Jewish and in Hebrew it's Kai. I said this guy's name is Kai and you're like, no, it's not Kai. Uh, we're going to take a short pause just for one, well, 30 seconds maybe. And then we'll continue with the program. celebrating.
हेलो क्या गाइस Look at guys. 